is up YouTube and welcome back to another video on my channel and for today's video I'm gonna be t doing a get ready with me while I talk about self-love self-esteem and confidence so um, if you didn't see my self self what's it called skincare routines right if you didn't see my skincare routine I talked about it that I was gonna do film this video and everything like that so hopefully you guys were prepared and everything <laughs> to watch this video but anyways let's get right into this video and for so long I wanted to talk about this topic because oh well I'm gonna get ready while I talk about it and I'm not gonna be talking a lot about the makeup like a lot about the products that I use maybe I will but I'm today I'm gonna try to focus more on the topic that we're talking about because I feel like it's a really important topic and um, okay, so I'm just gonna, let's just get started with this video. Um, I'm gonna be using the LA Colors, uh, brow pencil, which is literally, like, the benefit one, but, like, a cheaper version of it. So it has a pencil, and then it has a little spoolie. Okay, let's just get right into this video, guys. So, I really want to talk about this, um, topic because I feel like we, as not every single girl gets sat down by their mom and talked to about this um i know a lot of people a lot of a lot of people were just kind of like not told or not talked like like their i don't know their parents didn't really talk to them about self-esteem about confidence self-love everything like that because I know my parents didn't talk to me about that. They didn't sit me down and they weren't like, hey, you gotta love yourself, you gotta be confident in yourself, like, self-love is important. They never taught me that, you know what I mean? Nobody ever sat me down and said, hey, um, you need to do this, you need to do that. So that's why I wanted to film this video, just to help people, um, maybe younger girls that are going th through it and are just trying to understand how to love themselves, how to have some good self-esteem, good confidence, and everything like that. So, um, let's talk about um, confidence. So confidence, you can fake confidence. You can act like you're confident when you're really not, um, but you can't fake self-esteem. And self-esteem is the way you, like, personally feel about yourself like that's what you feel about yourself that's self-esteem so um, you can fake confidence all you want but you'll never be able to fake your comp your self-esteem um, but you could the way you could help boost your self-esteem is by being confident which is like crazy <laughs> But that's what I had to do. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I've not. I've since I was little. I've never been like a shy like girl. I guess you could say. Like I've always been pretty open about everything, and like I don't really hide in myself, my personality. Um, and if I want to do something, I don't. I just do it. I don't really care what other people think. And till this day, I'm still like that. Like I really don't personally care what other people have to say of what I do um like my YouTube channel you know I started it and I um I didn't let other people's negativity affect that um I'm gonna tell you guys a little story so um there was okay so um, I think it was like my sophomore year yeah I think it was my sophomore year um, so I would always try to dress really nice for school and not go to school like mad bummy and um, I remember like I was wearing like high heels not high heels high heels but like they were like boots that were like that had a heel on them and um, I always like tried to look good you know what I mean and I never did it for anybody else I did it for myself and I was always looking good for myself you know I never did it for anybody else um, because 
another thing guys if you do want to boost your self-esteem up and stuff like that I would really recommend to take care of your body take care of yourself physically and mentally um, lose some weight if you are a little bit um, insecure about it and even if you're not insecure about it just be healthy like in general be a healthy person because when you feel good on the inside you know it shows like people will see that people will be like dang she's really feeling herself like she's wearing high heels to school like because i remember people reacting that way to me like people would be like why are you wearing that why are you wearing that to school um blah blah, blah saying all this stuff and i'm like leave me leave me the heck alone like i can do whatever i want like i can wear whatever i want and there's nothing you can do about it there's nothing you can do about it like sorry but yeah like that's that's the person i am like i really did not care and till this day i don't care um but yeah like it's so weird how um we let people affect uh i'm not saying that i haven't gotten affected by other people's opinions but I'm just saying like in general a lot of people do get affected by like other people's opinions and um, when you show people that no matter what they say um, that you're gonna continue to do whatever you love and whatever you want to do people respect that people see you differently they don't see you as like be like a person that's gonna get pushed around and that's gonna follow the leader and do whatever um, everybody else tells them to do. Um, but yeah, like like I said, um, do whatever you want and don't let other people affect like affect that. And if people don't agree with you, um, it's not like they're paying your bills. It's not like you know they're like serving you in any way they're not serving you in any way so it's like their opinion doesn't really matter like you know what I mean um, I also wanted to touch on the subject of social media and I know for me personally um, I remember when I was in middle school I, I was so excited because um, we were about to start school and I was over here so happy and like excited for school to start and um, my dad bought me these Converse, these white Converse that I don't know if you guys remember these but these came out in like probably like 2000 like I don't know 2016, 2017 and it has like ruffles in the front. If I find a picture I'll put it up in the screen but yeah my dad bought me these shoes and I thought these shoes were so cute. And I was like, I need to post this on Facebook. Like, these are so cute. Like, I love these shoes. And um, that's what I did. I posted a picture of my backpack and a picture of my shoes. And I was like, I'm so excited for this school year. Like, look at all this nice stuff that I got. And like, I can't wait to like start the school, to start school and everything like that. And I remember somebody, I'm not gonna say any names, but I remember somebody commented, um, those are ugly and, and then somebody else was like oh yeah they are ugly but you don't have to tell her and I was like I literally was like um, like upset about it the whole entire day I'm not gonna lie to you guys when I was little I did let people like I don't know uh, people's opinions affect me a little bit um, but I would easily like get over it but um, if it wasn't for my mom I love my mom um, she always taught me to not care what other people think about you and just do whatever you love and everything like that because when that happened my mom told me she's probably jealous because you actually got new shoes this year what if her mom or what if her dad didn't buy her new shoes and that is so true like till this day that is so true People that hate on you the most, like, hurt people, hurt people. I don't know if you guys have heard that, but it's so true. Like, people that are hurt, people that are going through rough times, always, try, like, they see you striving, they see you doing good in life, and they always, like, 
they don't like that because it's like upsetting to them because you're they're not in that type they're not in that position and um it's so true like people that judge you and hate on you like let's say if somebody were to leave a nasty comment on my videos like they're still watching my videos so like like what's the you know what i mean like i don't know how to explain it like okay yeah they're putting negative comments but it's like you still watch my content you still you know do this stuff it's the same thing in life like they're talking bad about you because they're focused so much on you like that's why they hate on you girl that's why they see your lashes looking cute they see your nails looking cute and they hate that like they envy that they're like oh like she's just thinks she thinks she's all that blah, blah 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 and it's like girl just just be quiet like you know damn well you be focusing on me like whatever right but it's so true guys so when that's why um nowadays like i don't even care what people like have to say um i don't know if you guys know but i created a new igtv like kind of channel on my instagram and um a lot of people were like you're not embarrassed like to post videos about you like i don't know at work and stuff like that and it's like people aren't interested in that like maybe not everybody but like doesn't matter what you put online people will watch it people the people that like love you will support you no matter what you do so in order to have a good self-esteem and all this stuff don't be following people on instagram that make you feel bad that make you have like they make you feel bad about yourself don't ever follow people like that on instagram because i know me personally um I always had like, you know, like really, I don't not popular people, but like, I don't know, people that were like, I don't know, that had a platform and everything um, on my Instagram and I was always like upset and I was like, why can't I be like that? Like, oh, all this stuff. And it's like, that is not good for your mental health at all. It's better to just not have pe those people on Instagram and just do your own thing because that at the end of the day that does affect you okay sorry back to the video my camera like always turns off by itself I don't know why but it turns off by itself okay where was I oh um another thing I wanted to touch well I wanted to you know like bring this up was friends having like really nice supportive friends um if you feel like you're not surrounded by people that support you in whatever you want to do in your life um that's not gonna like help your self-esteem that's not gonna help your mental health that's not gonna help your confidence that's not gonna help no one nobody okay like if you feel like this certain group of friends are just hanging out with you just to I don't know say they have somebody that follows them all around like all the time it's like just leave yeah maybe you may miss some like fun you know parties that they do or anything anything but it's better for your mental health to stay in your own lane and just focus on you and do what you love and give it your all do, do it 100% and um, focus on yourself because at the end of the day, like I said, nobody else is going to do it for you and your friends are surely not going to do it for you. The only thing they could do is probably support you, but it's like if you have friends that don't even support you, it's like what's the point of even having them around? You know what I mean? You want people that are going to support you and... Um, be there for you whenever you need them um, but yeah also um, in order to have a good self-esteem is to love other people and to appreciate people that you have in your life um, because the more you appreciate stuff the more blessed you are and um, I don't know about you guys but like I said, I'm Mormon, so 
I always, you know, I if you guys don't believe in God or anything like that, you guys can just skip this part of the video. But if you do, um, I just wanna t wanted to bring this up and um, pray. Just pray. That's what I do. I always pray um, for strength. I always pray um, to be more grateful, to love, you know, more, to not be so... Um, judgmental um, it's not good to judge pe other people because if you judge other people you're gonna get judged and you don't want that and that just makes you a nasty person like I know I get it it's human nature to judge it's human nature and it's something that is kind of hard to work on um, but you're gonna get blessings for that. You're gonna, you know, feel way much better about yourself, feel way much better about other people. Um, another thing is that I wanted to bring up is to don't think that, like, don't ever judge, like, people's intentions and stuff like that because let's, I'm gonna give you guys an example. Let's say you're gonna go, you're going to the mall, right? And you see, like, a group of girls... <laughs> walking towards you and they're just staring at you and talking or they're looking at you and talking and you automatically are like oh my gosh they're probably talking like shit about me like they probably think I don't know I'm ugly or something or like you just think you automatically you think like oh they're talking about not me oh they probably like making fun of me when in reality what if they're just staring at you because you're so pretty what if they're just admiring your lashes or like whatever you know what I mean like don't ever judge people's intentions because you don't know you never know um you never know people's intentions <sighs> um but yeah i just thought i would touch that subject be or i would talk about that subject because i know we're so quick to judge well me personally i don't know about you guys but i'm so quick to judge people um when they looking when they look at me or anything like that i'm like oh they probably hate me like all this other stuff when in reality you don't know like you know i don't, I don't know what their you know intentions are um and if people do talk bad about you and stuff like that leave like let them again let them it's not like they're um paying your bills it's not like they're in charge of your life you know people are gonna say whatever they say everybody has an opinion you just need to make sure it's not gonna um you just need to make sure it's not like you're not gonna let it affect you um i know it's hard to not let people's opinions affect you and stuff but at the end of the day it's gonna make you a way better person and um just to ignore it all because they're gonna like most of the time they only like say stuff it's because they're just so focused on you again like I said they just hating on you because they ain't you sis like let them talk say whatever they need to say like they probably going through something rough um, and it's none of your problem like I like if you guys saw my um, other girl talk video that I did on on toxic people you only it's only your problem when you make it so it's like it's only your problem when you make it so don't make it your problem okay let them deal with their own problems um, don't be dealing with nobody else's problems okay that's something they gotta deal they gotta work on not you <laughs> that's just personal personal stuff they need to work on okay don't ever worry about other people and what they have to say about you. Um, but yeah, like I said, always, all the time, always be friendly with other other girls. Don't be judging other girls. Um, or guys, too. Like, just don't be judging each other. Um, everybody deserves to be treated with respect. Um, and it doesn't matter... If you don't like that person or whatever, at the end of the day, they should be treated with respect. Um, 
it's not I'm not saying that you need to respect them but you should treat them with respect which are two way different things um, but yeah um, like I was okay I'm over here like uh, I'm trying to finish up Another thing that I was going to talk about is a lot of people say like, oh, prayer doesn't work, saying all this stuff. And it's like, God helps those people that, he doesn't help, how am I, I'm trying, how am I going to explain this? Like, God helps you, but you got to put in the work, you know, he's not going to do it for you. Like, you got to be prepared to work hard. And um, not give up on yourself when things get rough. Because he's only going to give you the love and support that you need. But you, at the end of, at the, end of the day, are the one that's going to have to be, you know, doing the work. And, and um, he'll just be there to support you. And I know it, it gets hard sometimes to understand, like, why don't, why don't I have this yet? Um, and God knows what he does like and when you need something like like when you need to receive stuff he's not just gonna give it to you because you want it and at that time you know for me um, this I know this is gonna sound stupid but there's this pair of shoes that I wanted for like what three years two three years and I always ask my mom, I was like, mom, I need those shoes, like, I need those shoes. And, um, she never got them for me. And I put those shoes on my mood board, like, two years in a row, and nothing. Like, I didn't get anything. And then by the time, like, when I forgot about it, and that I wanted it so bad, I got them and I was like oh my gosh I totally forgot that I wanted this but now I have it so it's like whoa I like didn't expect it like I feel like he blesses us when we don't expect it which is so like I feel like perfect because he knows when you need it or when you are when you deserve it I guess you could say um, But yeah. to talk about confidence and everything like that with confidence you really have to make it like fake it till you make it fake that you're confident until you actually have like real genuine confidence um that's just how it that's just how it is that's just how it works that's just how confidence works you gotta fake it till you make it some people are born with it some people aren't born with confidence and you just gotta hustle you gotta like figure it out on your own um and work and see what works best for you and everything like that and like i said don't be afraid um
another thing is just focus on yourself. Focus on what you got going on for yourself. Don't be focusing on other people. The more you love yourself, the more you focus on yourself is when people start to recognize you and really like just appreciate the things you do. Um, but you don't really need, you know, people, you don't need people to always like have your back. You need to have your own back. You got yourself. Um, if people don't love you, you love yourself. Um, because it kind of sucks just relying on other people for, for love. It's just like, if you love yourself, you don't need nobody, you don't need nobody to love you. Um, I mean, but it's nice, it's nice when people love you. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, as long as, you know, you got yourself, um, you're confident in yourself, you love yourself, then you're good. And then the right person will magically come up to you and be like, hey, cutie, what's up? And you're gonna be like, oh, shoot, Noelle was right. Like, just when I started to focus on myself, now I got a whole ass boyfriend. Um, Cause that's how it was for me, honestly. Like, for so long I was thinking like, oh my gosh, nobody loves me. Like, all this other stuff. And I was like, you know what? I don't care if other people don't love me. I'm gonna just love myself and focus on myself and I'm gonna get a job and I got a job and guess what guess what I got a man I got a man and I was like wow I wasn't expecting that like at all and it's crazy like when you start focusing on yourself and don't think about what other people have to say about you things happen for you really magical things happen okay and a lot of happiness and love comes from from that um and you will get blessed for loving yourself and appreciating yourself um but yeah don't ever forget that always love yourself always um focus on you but obviously if you are in a relationship like you all like it can't just always be about you 24 7 but what I'm saying is like make sure um, you got your self-esteem you know is make sure your self-esteem is good make sure you're taken care of and and then um, and then go ahead and take care of other people and love other people and stuff like that and for so long I thought loving myself is just selfish and like I felt bad honestly like there was one point in my life where I felt bad because all the time I've been taught like to put others first um, always try to help other people and that's how I was for so long for so many years I was like that for so long I was like I need to help people out like I need to take care of people blah, blah 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 and like yeah you do but it's like you gotta love yourself first you gotta put yourself first and then do that um but nobody ever told me that I was just over here putting my time and effort into the wrong people and um I let their negativity affect me for so long okay for so long I let that happen and I let myself you know be manipulated and all this other stuff and it's like it sucks but i learned from it and that's why i'm making this video so you don't have to just go through all that um because i had to learn the hard way you know i had to learn the hard way um to love myself <laughs> and i had to teach myself that it's important to love myself You're, you're gonna see so much opportunities for yourself um, when you love yourself. I'm trying to put, find gloss to put on right now. Oh, it's right here. Okay. I'm gonna 
just put lip gloss on. I'm not going to put lipstick on today. I was going to. Should I? I'm going to put lipstick on. so old but I still use it it's the wet and wild like liquid oh my gosh liquid um, lipstick uh, liquid lipstick and then I'm gonna put gloss on top sorry this video was so long guys I just had a lot to say and get out of my my chest but I'm glad I made this video, and um, if you're still watching this till the end, shout out to you um, for being a true subscriber and loving and supporting my channel. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys like these types of videos so I can film more for you guys. Hopefully you guys liked this video, and, um, and don't forget to... Go to my, follow me on Instagram, and go follow my IG, or go watch my IGTVs, go give them a, like, a little heart, um, go support it, um, because I have some, like, exciting video ideas that are coming up, and I do a lot of behind the scenes a little bit, so, yeah. Anyways, that was it for this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!